Hi everyone. Just coming on, I had actually made a project last night. Um, one of my neighbours, her little girl, had a Burns Day event today. Um, and it, she only got told yesterday. And she didn't have anything tartan. So she had asked me to make up a few um, tartan, a tartan bobble and a tartan clasp for her. Which I done. But when I was doing it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to come on and just do a quick tutorial on how I put these together. Um, I use those little shapes in front of you. Um, I'm wiring my needle just now, so that's how I'm not showing them. Um, I got them off eBay and they're Dover. That's the maker of them. And they're bow makers. There's three different sizes of small, medium and large. I've got the three sizes. The main reason I got the three sizes is because the larger ones are perfect for high school girls um, who, especially first year, when they want to have their, um, their class the same colour as their school colours. Um, my niece, her school tie colour is um, purple, green and silver, I think. But I just made it um, purple and green for her and it was perfect. So this is a small set that you get. You can get them off eBay. I think I was a fiver, something like that. But they're really pliable. They're, I mean, you can cut these shapes out. Realistically, you could cut them out of cardboard. But because I was making them on math, cardboard would have been tatty. Otherwise, these are still in great condition. So that's a small set, and you get three ones in a set. You get the seven point, you get a five point, and you get a three point. And the instructions on how to make each one there. But to be fair, they're pretty self explanatory. Um, this is a medium set, and they're all different colours, so you can't mix the sets up. Although, you can mix and match. Um, I mean, if you want to do like a a larger clip with the middle clip on top of it, batter in type of thing. But anyway, this is a medium set, and the same again. Same uh, 7, 5, and 3, and this is a large set, 7, 5, and 3. Um, the clasp I'm going to make today is preschool um, for Valentine's, so I'm going to use my Seven point and five point um, small ones. So the ribbon I've chosen is I'm going to use my red satin, and I'm also going to use this for the small a uh, five point one. Um, where am I? Up here. Now, as I don't know how much I'm going to need. I am just going to unravel or fade that. Now you can do these as many layers as you like because if you're stitching them, now you can hot glue. I personally prefer to stitch for the main reason being I can then turn my bows and all you're doing is really going over with a figure of eight over everything. Now at the bottom here you're talking a wee bit, I'll go through that again. Now to start with if you're not used to it what I would suggest is you put that through the middle so you've got a wee bit at the back. I personally if you're new to it would put maybe a wee sticky pad just to hold your ribbon because when you're weaving it in and out it can become a bit loose. And then you're just figure of eight 
Fuck it away. Fuck it away. Fuck it away. Fuck it away. And fuck it away. Now that's me done one all the way over. I'm going to do a second one because it'll add it as a fuller um, flower. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's me done my two sets. Is that right? Yep. Now you do really use a lot of ribbon making this, which is why I would suggest looking at Chinese suppliers. Yes, the quality is not the best, but when you are buying to make this type of thing, quality is not the most important. Um, it's not going to be directly on the person's skin. Um, so you're not worried about um, it hurting anyone or being rough. Although some Chinese suppliers, the ribbons are really good quality and they're not that rough anyway. Uh, I have bought lots and lots from abroad. Um, and I can't complain. A lot of the grow grain as well, the ribbon from China, um, like the character ribbon, it's absolutely fine. Um, now I just go through this a good few times to make sure I picked up every single strand. And don't worry about the stitching at the bottom, and you can use any colour of thread. Um, I've just used this one because it's quite a sh that's the other thing, make sure it's a strong thread because when you're pulling and hauling at it and let's face it, if it's for a preschool child 9 times out of 10 they'll pull them out of here anyway by the bow so you're wanting it to be quite stubby right, I'm just going to tack this off now and as I said, I don't worry too much about the bottom where the knot is because no one's going to see it. So that's what you're left with there and I'll just snip that and bit of ribbon off now that I don't need it. And I always just cut it at the angle and you can trim that right down to your stitching almost. You can take this part off now and save that because you can reuse it again and then all you're doing is using your finger just push it off and these are really pliable so it's not going to damage it in any way shape or form and that's what you come out with this wee centre part that you had stuck down just snip that off don't need it and because I've got two layers on it you just separate your layers so you've got a ribbon sit a bow sitting on top of a bow like that and then all you do is take both layers and your finger and your thumb and just turn it slightly and you just persevere with it until you get where you're happy with the ribbons being so that's it offset slightly I mean some of them might look as if they're still overlaying just pull them round a wee bit as I said they are very very it they're very, very forgiving as long as you have stitched them properly or if you want to hot glue them and batter in. But as I said, I would do it this way. Um, 
because I know they're not going to come undone. I'll just wrap this up again and we'll go on to the last one. The last one I'm only adding one layer um, because it's going to be like the signature layer and it's a thicker um, ribbon. It has a layer of satin and at the side of that it's got a little bit of organza. So there actually isn't much on this so I'll just take it off and then I can put it in my scrap when I'm done. So I'm just going to tie the end of my needle again. And I like to put a few notes on it because I'm quite chuggy with my thread. I do pull on it quite a bit and I don't want it to come through the ribbon. And I'm not the greatest stitcher, so if you're all sitting shouting at the screen, forgive me! <laughs> right, again, put it through the centre, and it doesn't matter if it looks a bit big, it's not going to matter once you take it off. And again, just hold it down with something. It can be sticky tape or foam pad, whatever you've got nearby, it just Gives you that wee extra minute to manoeuvre. So again, figures of eight. And as I said, I'm only doing one layer of this. And that's that done. So then we just need to stitch it up. And because this has got the organza, just make sure that you're going through the satin part because the organza will tend to pull a wee bit and because of that I'm going to just go under my needle as well just to make sure that I've got a proper grip on it And again, just make sure that you've got plenty of stitching on it. Only takes a few seconds. And you're just back and forward. And then what I'll do here is I'll just snip that part off. There. And... <coughs> underneath here. Snipping that part off in a minute as well. So taking it off the um the holder and then what I'm going to do is I have been from my stitch underneath. So I'm just going to stitch this on you can use hot glue, that's absolutely fine for this part, um, it won't make any difference whatsoever, but just for quickness and I haven't heated my glue gun up, I'll just stitch it on. And all you're doing is just coming back through, whoops, I'm just going to pull that up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Untangled here. That's better. So I'm just going to get surveyed as well. Maybe. Yeah, that's going to screw just a bit tight today because I'm going through the stitching as well as the, the ribbon. And my hands aren't a great day either, which it's a bit silly showing a stitching when my hands are playing games with me. 
and then I'm just going to do it again just to make sure that the stitching's went all the way through and it's holding properly. There we go, and one more through the back and then I'll tie it off. So that's that tied off. Then these baubles you can pick up probably about ten for a pound or something out of the town shop. Or you can get them online in bulk. Um I think I was probably about a tenner for 250 and that was assorted colours and all I do once I get them is just fix them out into wee baggies so I know if I'm running low on any one particular colour. Right, again I'm just going to tie my end off. This time I'm not too fast because it's just to hold on my my bobble. Um and you can do this with hot glue as well. Um if you're doing it with hot glue, just cut a, a wee bit of ribbon. Um I'll show you actually in a second if you just bear with me. What you do is I don't even know if I've got a wee bit of ribbon there. Chopped off if not. But anyway, what you would do is I'll just chop a wee bit of this off to show you. You would just take your bobble, place your bobble where you want it to go and put a bit of hot glue on there. Place your bobble into the hot glue, then put a bit of the ribbon that matches it and just squeeze it in so that it's tight round the bobble and also adhering to the ribbon. Okay? That's normally how I do it. But as I said, I haven't heated my heat gun up and I don't really want to waste too much time on it. So what I'm going to do is just stitch it through and all you're doing is to try and grab that wee bit. Come on hand and what I do is just make sure that the metal part is up next to my bow. And what I'll probably do is just tack this slightly so you can see what I mean. And then once I put my heat gun on later, and my glue gun on later, I will um, hot glue it down. It is much more sturdy with hot glue. Um, so I find anyway. But there is a lot who prefer the stitching. Um, and there's actually quite a few customers who actually ask for stitching rather than glue. So it's up to each individual really um, what they prefer. I'm just going to finish that off there because as I said I will when I put my glue gun on later go back and stitch a uh, hot glue this down so it's really just for an example I'm showing you and that's it there it's just stitched on to the bottom then you're just adding a wee something into the centre um, let me see what I've got. <coughs> now I've got a load of these. I bought, um, they're actually altered bottle cap, um, pictures. But the wee ones absolutely love them. So what I tend to do, let me see if I can find a red one. 
without looking at one direction because they drive me insane. Um, I have got tons in this bag as well. I'm trying to find a red one when I want it. No. It doesn't matter. That one will do. Got a wee bit of red in it. So that's Ariel from Little Mermaid. Oops. I'll just save you for that. So it's Ariel from the Little Mermaid. And what I would do with that is put it on a bit of card, a bit of chipboard, glossy accents over it, and then stick that in the centre. And then you've got a lovely wee bobble for Valentine's Day. And they would absolutely love that. You can add a wee bit of bling into the centre if it's um, an older child, if it's a primary school child maybe. Um, another thing that I do at Christmas time is put some wee dangles on the bottom with some wee bells. Um, they absolutely love that as well, especially preschool kids. They absolutely love their bells. Um, but you just play around with it. As I said, these are fantastic. You can use these on projects just on their own. Put a wee flower in the centre. Um, now this was one I actually worked on last night and made a balls up of it. Um, but there you go, there's a wee red rose in the middle of that. Put it on a project. Put some leaves coming out of it. There you go, you've got your own flower. Just have fun with them. They're not really hard to do. Um, I mean, I've got quite a lot of clips and things that I use. Um, this is the wee bag of clips that I use. Um, I have the shaped crocodile ones. They're fantastic. Um, I have the clipper ones for the wee ones at preschool who have maybe fine hair. And what I do is you can buy these without the metal, uh, without the wee disc at the end. You can buy them and they've just, they've got a wee cross of metal missing. The only thing I don't like with that is then you've got maybe hot glue sitting right next to the wee ones here. And I don't like that. So I always buy the one with a wee disc on it. They're not much more expensive. But your customers will be much more thankful. Um, for these ones, when I'm adhering them, what I do is I put E600 on there. Only glue I use with my clasps because I know it lasts. Then all you're doing is sticking it on. And you hold that clasp because you need to let it hold for 24 hours. Stick a few of your clasps through just to hold it in place like that doesn't need to be perfect obviously for showing you you'll get the gist there but use your other clasps to hold that one in place um, I also have these ones here and that's a small kibbe grip style or the bobby pin I don't use these very often um, because the plate is very very tiny and they are actually quite wide when you're using them they're not ideal for kids um, what other ones have I got? I have got my um, hairband and again the same way as I would do with a bobble just put your hairband on, small bit of hot glue on it. Oops, it is, you try and set it right. Small bit of hot glue on it. Place 
your hair band on and then add your ribbon over it. You can loosen it slightly so that you can still move your hair band so that you can position it where you want. It's up to you. But hopefully that gave you a few of the ideas. Um, these are the big clasps that I buy for high school kids. Why is that going on? That's better. They're the ones I buy for high school kids. As you'll see, they are quite wide. But E6000 or E600 and then pin it on the same way as I showed you a minute ago with the smaller ones. Um, and I also have that style in a smaller one for primary school kids. Um, but just have a go. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.